Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Old Soviet Shop. Now I do kind of like uh, the old Soviet style of, uh, well I'll say games, but just that general image of what you would consider old Soviet style. I, I kind of like that. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got. Unfortunately, it does not come with a demo scene, and that is one negative for me there. I always like a demo scene, even if it is just a little bit of something to it, rather than just stick whatever models we've got into a scene. But it doesn't matter too much, I guess. That's just me. Um, so overall, quality is fairly nice. Um, it's higher quality than what some assets are in the asset store, so... Just keep in mind that the asset itself is indeed free as of recording this, but remember assets do go up and down um, and it is only 46 megabytes for what we get. So yeah, it, it's not too bad quality wise. Uh, it looks fairly decent. Um, it does appear to be, you know, as, as best it can be given uh, what it actually is. But don't forget this kind of stuff should look kind of run down. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly add a light source. Uh, in here so just so we can see inside and the inside is really really nice so it is modeled inside so if we need to we could actually use uh, the inside of this you know if you're creating this style of game and there's the counter shop you know create something run down in an open post-apocalyptic world I guess yeah it's it's quite decent it's it's fairly nice um, quantity we just get this uh, so extras Nothing really in the way of extras. Uh, we just get this one single model. And that is all it advertises itself as as well. So we shouldn't really expect any more than that. Um, I always like to add a bit of post-processing as well. Just to kind of see what things could look like. And, you know, it is it is quite nice. And I guess the inside bit of light, yeah, it doesn't look too bad with that post-processing profile on it. But again, that's just something whipped together quickly. Obviously, we can change a couple of things give it more of a post-apocalyptic kind of look, you know, a rundown world as such. Um, so customizable. Yeah, it's kind of customizable, but not as much as I would like it to be. Uh, when I say that, what I mean is if we take this sign, for example, the entire sign is all together, even though this A down here is, you know, we can't separate it or anything. We can't move the A outwards or anything like that. It's all one. Uh, same with the actual build itself. You can see it is made up of a couple of different uh, sections. All of these pieces come as one entire model, unfortunately. But that's neither here nor there. So effectively, you probably would have to take this entire model as it is or remove them uh, completely. But, you know, that's again, that's just me. It's fairly... It's a decent model, I think. The whole thing is it'd be it'd be useful as just an imagery in the background or something like that. And maybe as a shop, but not customizable in that way unless you're prepared to do the extra work and add some extra things in there. Obviously, we can change a lot of the materials if we want to, make them look you know, grittier, uh, change to albedo, you know, all that kind of stuff. So the usual kind of uh, work with customizing how it looks in the materials which is okay uh, usefulness yeah it's going to be useful uh, in terms of you know like a, a post-apocalyptic world like i say or if you're creating a soviet style game you know if you're creating something maybe slightly metro based uh, if anyone remembers like metro and um, metro last light that kind of era but yeah overall it, it's okay um, like I said, I think the biggest deterrent factor for me is that some parts of this are whole. We, we can't create our own building from it. We're left with what we have and that's it. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And I would kind of recommend this, but not for all purposes. It's nice to look at, it's nice to play around with, and you can probably find a good use for it at some point. Uh, but you would just have to keep in mind that it's not quite as customizable as a lot of other assets that you would find either on the asset store or on third party websites. But yes, I'd probably just about recommend this if you are looking to create a Soviet style or post apocalyptic game. 
So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. And if you've got an asset on the asset store as well, let me know because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it. And finally, guys, click on that subscribe button. Click on that bell icon as well. You can stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel because there's always loads to see, loads to do, and loads to learn. And guys, thank you very much for watching.